needed for any human being in any period of history. It's all done through the cross. Now, our appropriation of the cross is progressive. We are being sanctified. What Jesus has done is perfect, finished, complete. But our appropriation is progressive. I don't believe there's a single person here, myself included, who has yet appropriated all that is available to us through the cross. But if we will go through the process of sanctification, being made holy, being conformed to God, thinking God's thoughts, living his way, we will appropriate more and more. But if witchcraft moves in, witchcraft will obscure the cross and although we should be living like children of the king, we'll begin living like beggars and paupers. Because all the benefits that God has provided come to us solely on the basis of the cross. Satan is very astute. He knows exactly what to strike at. He knows that if he can obscure the cross, he has the church at his mercy. The second reason is that the cross was the means of Satan's total defeat. I can't go into all the scriptures, but through the cross, Jesus ministered a total, eternal, irreversible defeat to Satan. Satan can't change that. But what he can try to do is conceal the fact from us so that we no longer live in the victory because we don't realize the victory that was won for us. The third feature of the cross is it's the only source of power for real Christian living. You can quote the Sermon on the Mount as much as you like, and all sorts of psychiatrists will say, well, that's the way people ought to live. But the only way we get the ability to live that way is through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Because his sacrifice